Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our multi-image part and all right now you can manage all that your multi-images from to the back end. Right here, I have already done that our multi-images. Now in this video, I want to do, I want to um, complete our another part. So that will be our portfolio part. So into the portfolio area, we, we have to do, have to done our total one of the code application. I hope you like it very much. Like first of all, what exactly that our table will be like here, we need one of the name that means our portfolio name. We need one of the portfolio title and also mm, that have that, sh that should be one of the images right if you go to our main theme that is our demo index.html here mm, you can see that have some of the images and also when you click as a case study then that will be return redirect to our another portfolio detail page like that will be this type of one of the portfolio details page right mm, that will be just like that so now i want to do, I want to create another code application okay so first of all i want to do I want to add some of the field for this database table. Now let's do that work for doing this right now. I don't need this. I better minimize everything. Okay, there's a controller about controller. We don't need this. I close it. So first of all, I want to create one of the um, table. So if you want to create that table right now, that is our project. Okay, into this project, I want to create another model first. So that will be the PHP artisan and make a model. And I want to create one of the model name as a portfolio. Portfolio. I want to create one of the model as a portfolio, and at a time I want to create one of the migration table. I hope you already know that part. So I have already discussed about main our core functionality. Now that will be very easy to you, and you can see it's now created one of the model, and also it's created one of the migration table. Great. Now let's check this out. If you now go to our models area, so right now you can see it is a model. Now there is a new model is created as a portfolio, and also in our migration. Now there is a new table as a portfolio. So for the portfolio, I want to do better. I want to get some of the references. I copy it and then in our portfolio here, I want to do and to paste it. So right now, first to work here, we need one of the name. That means our portfolio name. We need that portfolio title, portfolio images will be needed. And also when you click it as a view mode, then I want to create another description, right? So then that will be another description page so that's all for now so first of all i want to do i have to take on the name i just name it as a portfolio a portfolio underscore name so that will be our one field and uh, there's a portfolio and name i want to take another one as a portfolio hey, that will be as a title okay name it as a title that will be another string and also i want to make all that field as a nonable if you don't want to use it is totally fine but right now i use it I copy it and I paste it okay so now I want to take another one as a portfolio image or image will be needed right that have also one of the image there is also one of the image will be needed and also when you click as a detail space and then our description will be needed right so now description I make it as a text so that will be the text type and I name it as a portfolio description Okay, that will be the portfolio description. So for now, all that field, okay, all that field, I make it as a nonable, as a portfolio name, portfolio title, portfolio image, portfolio description, and everything is still only that our description will be as a text. Then you can add that multiple data. Great. Now we have to update our portfolio model into this model that will be just like that same here. I want to use that protected guarded. So when you use it, then we, ha we don't need to pass individually all that field data great right now all that field so they have all the there are the four field and four field is become fillable great so i simply updated both of these now click as a save all and now i want to migrate if you want to migrate it then that will be as a php artisan and migrate right so that will be as a php artisan migrate click as a enter now you can see our migration stable is successfully done. If you now go to our database, into this database, right now if you go to that website database, now that should be another table as a portfolio. You can see there is a portfolio and for the portfolio, there is a portfolio name, title, image and description. And also for the portfolio, I want to create another controller. Okay, into the home, I want to create another controller. I hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do then that will be the PHP artisan artisan make controller 
and I want to create another controller as a portfolio controller. Okay, I make it as a first of all that will be in our home folder. I want to create another controller as a portfolio portfolio controller. Okay, portfolio controller. Now click as enter. Now our controller created successfully. Great. So here that now if you go to our home, now there is a new controller as a portfolio controller. So now we have to do right now we don't need this. We have to right now also we don't need this. If you go to our web into this web, first of all, we have to do have to load it, right? We have to load our controller. I simply loaded that controller that is in our home folder or controller name as a portfolio controller. I simply loaded that portfolio controller. Now I want to do I want to take our another um, part. Okay, that is a group route. Better I copy it and then after that I paste it. So that will be for the portfolio. Okay, that will be the portfolio um, all route. Okay, so then that will be portfolio all route and our controller group group will be which one that will be i have already loaded our portfolio controller so now that will be as a portfolio controller okay portfolio controller group and then that will be our route so right now i only take one route so first of all i want to do i want to get all the data okay i want to get that data i want to visible it so if you want to do this work in our sidebar into this sidebar right now i want to do to copy it I want to copy and then I paste it. So that will be our another part here. I want to do I want to change it. Okay, I want to change it. That will be as a portfolio. Folio. Okay, portfolio page setup. And for the portfolio, that will be the two. One will be as a all portfolio. Okay, I make it as a all portfolio. Another will be as a add portfolio. Okay, I make it as a add portfolio. Great. Right now we don't need this. I simply remove it. Okay, I simply remove it, and then I make it a little bit left side. Now you can see there. There is a two menu. One is the all portfolio, and there is the add portfolio. So first of all, I want to make it as a clean. I want to work in our all portfolio. For the all portfolio, I want to create another route that will be as all, and I just name it as a all portfolio. Okay, this type of one of the route I want to create. So if you want to create it, simply copy it and now go to our web. You can see that is a simple step-by-step -step process. I hope now that should be very clear to you. And our URL will be as all, I make it as all portfolio. I want to create another method as a all portfolio. Okay, all portfolio. So this type of one of the method I want to create in our portfolio controller. So now simply go to our portfolio controller here. I want to create that method. So that will be the public and then function and our method name will be all portfolio. Okay. And now I want to better make it as a and method and method. Okay. That will be the and method. So here right now, if you want to get that data right now, we don't have any data. But first of all, I want to complete this part. I want, if there have any data, I want to get all the data and I want to visible it in our one of the pace okay so now let's do that work for doing this we have to also load our model because of all i have already loaded this model i have already better copy it because image will be also needed i copy it and then i paste it so for the portfolio if you want to access our portfolio table we have to do we have to access it through our model a model name as a portfolio model right i simply copy it now that will be our app models and then the portfolio model so our process will be just like that same if you go to our home there is a find about controller here i have already get that or all latest all data like i just make it as a here okay so so after that after that if you want to access it first of all i want to take one of the variable as a portfolio portfolio and then i if you want to access it or database if you want to access that portfolio database then that will be the portfolio and from to the portfolio i want to get that latest all data so then there is a latest 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 i want to do i want to get that data okay so that will be the get method i want to do i want to get it perfect so right now it will be get all that our latest data from our portfolio table that means that is our portfolio table okay if they have any data then that will be get this data and i take it in our particular that variable before i get a individual one field data right you can see before i get that individual one data so right now i simply get all latest data so i simply get that data and take the things with this variable then simply i want to do i want to return it so then that will be the return 
okay that is a return so that will be the return and then i want to do under display to one of the view page so in our admin i want to create one of the folder as a portfolio okay port um, folio portfolio and into this portfolio i want to create another page i want to create another page as a portfolio underscore view or view or all whatever you choose better i make it as a portfolio all okay portfolio all and then i have already get all the data with the compact i want to don't pass it okay so i have already get all that our portfolio data take the things with this variable now i want to do and to pass that data in our portfolio all page so now let's create our folder first in our admin i want to create another folder as a portfolio now go to our view the view is in our view you can see the resources view so now first of all i want to do in our admin i want to create another new folder and i just name it as a portfolio and into this portfolio i want to create on the new page as a portfolio all right so that will be in our portfolio i want to create another new page now that will be another blade page now click as a save as and i name it as a portfolio all dot blade dot php okay friend i hope every part is very much clear to you so for the portfolio all i want to do i want to load that data table which i have already loaded for our multi image right if you go to our home slide um, for the multi image where exactly i have loaded that is our multi image if you open it here i have actually used um, that in our page or let's first of all to check it like if you go to our all about all multi image that is all multi image you can see here i have already loaded the data table right that is our all multi image so for the all multi image that is our all multi image blade.php you can see that have, i have already loaded the data table so right now that will be same but i copy it and now in our all but the portfolio all blade here i paste it okay right now we don't need this so now i want to do i want to customize it as per our demand like first of all that will be as a portfolio portfolio all okay i want to do and to make it as a portfolio all mm, then that will be as a portfolio all data okay all data i simply loaded that name and for the portfolio i want to display that serial number i want to display that portfolio okay i want to display the portfolio name so that will be the portfolio name i have already take it okay i have already take that name if you go as a portfolio name title image okay so there is a three field that i want to visible so that will be the portfolio name i want to take another one and i want to take another one that will be as a portfolio name portfolio um, title for title and also portfolio image image i want to visible and then that will be another action so right now there is a one two three four five right now that should be also updated as a td as a one there is a images two and then the three so i want to, want to take another two of this td i copy it and then i paste it and paste it great so now first of all there is a serial number our concept will be just like that same here or that will be, would be one of the for each loop right now i get all the data with the portfolio now that will be in our for, for each loop as a portfolio portfolio i name it as item which is totally fine if you want to use a new one you can use it okay so first of all our item will be one initialized value as a one automatically that will be as a plus plus then i want to do with our item with this item i want to display our name okay so here if you want to display it with this item i want to display our name or name field if you go to our database into this database you can see there is a name as a portfolio name right i simply copy it now that will be as a portfolio name and also that do the same things here i want to do the same things our another one will be as a title so title name as a portfolio title i copy it so then that will be as a portfolio title okay our name will be visible portfolio title will be visible images after that there is a portfolio image right now our field name as a portfolio image i copy it then that will be display asset item because right now we are already into the for each loop with this item it shall be display as a portfolio image i put one of the wide height it will be updated and that will be our edit portion okay so i will do the things later right now that's all okay that's all right now we, we don't have any data for this it's now should be as a blank click as a save all now i want to go to our dashboard now click as a refresh 
and now if you go to you can see there is a portfolio and now here if you go to that all portfolio yeah you can see successfully loaded our serial number portfolio name title images and also there is an action right now i don't have any data right so now i want to do i want to insert that data then automatically that will be displayed in here so in our next video i want to work in our ad portfolio okay how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video